Hi Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out what are your person's true intentions towards you. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. And today is the 5th of June, 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 10... What time is it? 10.44 p.m. <laughs> Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. If you were divinely guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same sign. Spirits and angels, please show me for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Their person's true intentions towards them. Please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and your person. Hmm. Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So the devil here is in love first. And now I've got the four cups. Six of Cups and one first. So your person's intention is to not want to repeat something from the past or not wanting you to repeat something from the past. Could be you, could be them, but because apparently there's something here in the devil in one first. Mm, not to repeat something that is toxic, something that is bad from the past. Feels like they are unsure, right? With the moon here. If if something will repeat from the past. We got the Queen of Swords here as well. So your person could be a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Could also be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Pisces, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Okay, it can be any sign, okay? It doesn't look like your person is happy right now. Three of Cups and one first, five pentacles and the hangman. Because something is stagnant or something is not moving forward the way they want it to in regards to this connection i would say that the intention is to gain some clarity um also to give some sort of ultimatum okay it's like it's they're setting this they are setting some sort of boundaries it's like i'm gonna say what i'm going to be saying to you, I'm going to tell it like it is. feels like this has been bothering them for a while, okay? The moon here. This has been bothering them a while, for a while. The moon can negate deception, actually. But I don't really... S Sorry that the camera is moving. <laughs> but I don't really see them like wanting to lie to you because there's a devil here in my face and there's five pentacles it's almost like let me try and hang in there for a while you know hangman and the ten of wands let me try and see let me you know try everything let me try everything first i do have a plan that's what i'm seeing it's like the intention is like let me do everything that I can let me give my all first and then when push comes to shove I'm, I'm gonna say something or I might have to cut you off you know with the queen of swords here that's what I'm seeing here it's like they quietly could be planning this as in I'm gonna do the best that I can I'm gonna see how long I can endure this situation or you or something because again moon indicates secrets so they may be planning this but also at the same time it doesn't feel like like they want to be deceptive it's almost like them just telling themselves okay, i'm gonna do everything that i can now until i i reach my boiling point she's a queen of swords here and then i'll disconnect 
if it continues. Something, there's something here, the devil. Something that they don't like, something that's toxic, or could be a third party situation, could be lying, cheating, could be addiction, could be anything, okay? Anything that your person deems that, you know, that maybe it cannot continue, okay? Something that shouldn't continue, that, that they don't think that, can, that they can endure this for too long. But they're going to do the best that they can, right? With the Ten of Wands here. Until they cannot. And Four of Cups is right here. Six of Cups in one verse. It's like, until there is no point of return. Until they feel like, okay, I'm done. I'm dissatisfied. I'm really completely dissatisfied then. That's it. Three of Cups in one verse. Yeah, Five of Pentacles. Now you see, Five of Pentacles, two people here. They're still together. But it's hard. It's challenging. So I'm going to... Like, give it some time. I'm going to sacrifice a little bit right now until I can't anymore. Then number 10, 10 is, you know, number 10 is a completion number. So then that's it if they can't do it anymore. But they're going to do the best that they can first, okay? That's what I'm seeing. The Empress in my first. Yeah, five cups. Now I've got the four wands. Ten of Cups, I'm up first. Ace of Swords, Page of Pentacles, I'm up first. See, so, yeah, another very cutting energy, Ace of Swords. It's like, once I'm done, and I gain the clarity in regards to the situation, in regards to this connection, if I don't think I can handle it anymore, I will cut this off. I might end this connection, I might distance myself or disconnect myself. And Page of Pentacles here is in my verse. Hmm. I do see them just kind of dragging this along and trying to see if this could even come to anything. But I do see them wanting to try to persevere as long as they can. The Empress here is in my verse. Yeah, it's like squeezing out, almost squeezing almost everything out of them, right? Imprisonment. Unless roles are being reversed in this reading, yeah, just please bear, bear that in mind. Foul Cups in my verse. They're still trying to maintain positive. Ten of Cups in my verse, even though they feel, they're like starting to feel as though, I don't know if this is going to happen, this future between two of us. Um, but I'm still trying, that's what I'm seeing, I'm tr still trying to remain positive as long as I can. For once, the intention is to stay together or to reconcile if both of you are separated, yeah. That's trouble in paradise, the intention to like still try to like wanting to make things work, still trying to do the best that they can again with the ten of wands here. But eventually, if they feel like this is one-sided or one person is carrying more burden, carrying more responsibilities uh, than the other, then they might just, like, cut this connection off, okay? Let's see. More. This could be the one. You deserve love. Give your relationship a chance. Yeah. Unrequited love. Healing family issues. Romantic feelings. See, give your relationship a chance. So I do sense your person's intention is to give this connection a chance. To see if it survives. Unless, if they realize eventually that it's only one-sided. One person is investing more than the other. Or it could go vice versa. Don't forget that, okay? 
then they might just disconnect from this um, relationship, this connection, romantic feelings. I do sense them having feelings for you still. I would like to heal this connection. Really wanting to give it, you know, the best that they can. But it has come to a point where they're like, okay, this is the last straw, right? They do love you. They want to know if you could be the one. They may see you as the one, but maybe something is weighing too heavily on them, okay? All right, Leo, Aries, Sash, this is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Feel free to subscribe to my other channel. It's called Chelsea Vlogs. It's my travel channel. And for those of you who like to be notified every time when I post your videos and every time when I go live, subscribe. And also, I'm not sure if you can see, you can find any um, notification button. <laughs> Uh, because YouTube keeps changing, I don't know if there's a notification button, but you can find it somewhere. And if you can't, also there's another complaint that I've been hearing, uh, is that it's really hard for you to find that subscribe button, to subscribe to my channel. If you can't find it, just go to Love Chelsea Love Tarot, which is my profile, click on it, it'll bring you to my page, and you can subscribe from there, alright? Take care. Hope to see you back here again sooner than later. Bye.